Hi everybody, welcome. We're about to do some yoga, so this is the time to unroll your mat, grab props if you'd like to use them. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am happy to have you joining us on the mat today. Please remember to modify any part of your practice as we go along. I'll give you a few seconds to get those things ready and I'll see you right back here. Hi again, we're gonna start in a comfortable seated position on the mat. So whether that is sitting like me in a cross-legged seat on a block, feel free to do that. I like to sit on a block because it raises the hips up, making it easier for me to find some length in the lower back. I find that if I'm not using a prop, I tend to round a little bit. So if you have something to sit on, a rolled up blanket, a pillow, a bolster, feel free to grab any of those items. Let yourself settle into your, into your seat, maybe shift a little bit side to side. Let your hands drop into your lap or you can let the palms stay perched on the legs, palms down or up. If it's comfortable to do so, just close the eyes. Just settling into your seat, sit tall. Let the eyes just stay softly shut if the eyes are closed. Uncreasing the brow. Unclenching your jaw. Letting go of all the things happening off the mat so you can narrow your focus to what's happening on the mat, what's happening in your body, beginning with your breath. Try keeping the breath moving in and out through the nose, nice and easy. And without thinking too much about it, just let the breath move, taking easy inhales, easy exhales. Let's hold it here for another deep breath or two. And if the eyes are closed, slowly open up the eyes. Let the arms reach out to the sides beside you. Turn the palms to face out. Sweep the arms over. Interlace all 10 fingers and press the palms up. Relaxing shoulders out of the ears. One breath. Take a little twist, go to the right. Bring the left arm forward, right arm back. Look right and hold for another full breath. Coming back to center, arms overhead, little uh, twist, go to your left side. Come back up through center, reach the arms behind the back, interlace all 10 fingers, try pressing the palms together, keep the chest lifting without backward bending, just lengthen the spine. We'll put a bend in the elbows and bring your hands to the right side, outside the waist. So your right elbow points out to the right side, sit tall, and if it feels okay to do so, drop your right ear towards your shoulders, your right shoulder, just your eyes look to the left. Hold for another full breath. Then coming back up to center, reach the arms back behind you, Go the other way, hands to the left side of your waist, your left elbow pointing out to the left side. Sit tall, drop your ear toward the shoulder, left shoulder, look toward the right. 
and grabbing another full breath. Coming back up to center, reach the arms back behind you. Let go with a grip, shake out your hands. Let's come on to hands and knees. From your hands and knees, you can tuck or untuck the toes. We'll do a little cat and cow pose. Inhaling, arching the spine, lift the tailbone, eyes upward. Exhaling into cat as you round down, tuck the tailbone, head down. Inhaling, arching. Exhaling, round. Inhaling, arching, start tucking your toes. Press to down dog as you exhale, lift the hips up and back. Feel free if you like to walk out the feet, pedal out your heels in the first down dog just to stretch out the legs, wake everything else up. Inhaling, lift the heels up. Exhaling, sink the heels down. Take it forward to your plank pose. You can drop the knees, then lower all the way onto the belly. Untuck the toes, slide the fingertips back just a tiny bit, maybe half an inch, then lift into high cobra pose. The knees are on the mat. Relax the shoulders out of the ear. So let the crown of the head lift up, shoulders back. Take another deep breath in. Then come on to hands and knees as you exhale. Cat pose, round it down. Inhaling, arching the spine. Exhaling, round it into your cat. One more, inhaling, arching, tuck the toes, eyes up. Downward facing as you exhale, the hips up and back. Hold for a full breath. Taking an inhale, lift the heels high. With your exhale, sink the heels down. Come forward into your plank pose, dropping the knees, lower slow onto your belly. Untuck the toes, slide fingertips back half an inch, high cobra, strong arms, chest up, shoulders back, look forward. Hands and knees into cat pose, round it down. Inhaling, arching into your cow, eyes upward. Exhaling, round it down into your cat. Inhale, arching, tucking the toes, eyes up. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. One last time here, or at least in this sequence. Taking an inhale, lift the heels up. With your exhale, sink the heels down. Bring it forward to your plank pose, lining up the shoulders. Come onto the knees, lower slow onto the belly with control, untuck the toes. Fingertips slide back a little, high cobra. Strong arms, relax the shoulders back, look forward. Hands and knees into your cat pose. And this time, when you hold your cat pose, feel free if you'd like to add a wrist stretch. You can turn the fingertips around to point toward your knees. And we'll hold for another deep breath. Neutralize the spine, make sure the fingertips are pointing forward. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Look forward through the hands, walk or hop your feet to the front. Fold over the legs when you get there, round down. Interlace the fingers behind the back, stretch the arms overhead, head down. Make sure to soften the knees or bend them as, as you please. One more full breath. 
relax the hands and arms toward the floor. We'll do that again, interlacing fingers behind the back. Switch the grip this time so the opposite pinky finger is on top. It'll be the less dominant grip, most likely. Head down one more breath. And relax the hands and fingertips toward the mat. Chest up, bring your hands to the waist. And with a flat back, press up slow to stand. Coming all the way up, relax the shoulders, drop the arms down by your side, standing tall in Tadasana. Inhaling, sweep the arms around. With your exhale, arms behind the back, interlace fingers, change the grip again, chest up. Warrior three, lift the left leg up and back as you tilt forward. Keep the hips level if you can, as best you can. We'll take it into warrior one, step back, heel down, arms overhead, interlace fingers overhead, press the palms up. Relax the shoulders down, keep bending deep at the right knee, right hip back a little. Then press both palms straight forward, one breath. Parsvottanasana, hands down as you straighten the right leg and round. Option to use blocks or anything under the hands if you like, one more breath. Rebending up at the right knee, transition to warrior two, press through, come up, arms out, look over the right hand, one breath. Reverse warrior, right arm over, we'll straighten the right leg, come into triangle pose, trikonasana, turn the arms, lower the right hand, lift the left, look left when you can, maybe peek up, option if you want to take a little half bind here you can either keep the left arm lifting or wrap your left arm around the lower back keep the chest up look over your shoulder one more breath look down bend the right knee hands inside the foot skandasana take it to the left side lunge bend deep through the knee one inhale Holding as you exhale. Brief lizard pose to the front as you come up, pivot. Keep the hands inside the right foot as you walk around and lower the back knee down. Chest up, one more breath. Ardha Hanuman half split, straighten the right leg, one breath. Rebending up at the right knee, take it to downward facing dog, step back option to hold it here or flow through. From your downward facing dog, lift the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, big step through the hands. Step all the way up to the front and fold over the legs, head down. Inhale, sweep the arms around, rise up. Exhale, the arms behind the back, interlace fingers, change the grip again, opposite pinky finger on top. Warrior three, tilt the right leg up and back, keeping hips level, strong standing leg, shoulders back, one breath. Taking it to warrior one, step back, heel down, arms over, interlace fingers, change the grip again. Press the palms up, deep bend in the left knee, relax the shoulders down. Pressing both palms straight forward, left hip back a little. Parsvottanasana pyramid, hands to opposite sides of the left foot, straightening the left leg, forehead to the shin. Option to use blocks if you like. One more breath. Rebend the left knee, warrior two. Readjust the back foot if you need. Come up, arms out, look over the left hand. 
Reverse warrior, left arm over. We'll straighten the left leg, triangle pose, turn the arms, lower the left and lift the right. Look toward the right when you can, maybe peek up if you can. Option if you tried it on the first side, maybe wrap the right arm around the lower back. Keep the chest lifted, the spine lengthened, look over your shoulder. Then peek down at your left foot, hands inside the foot, skandasana. Take your side low lunge to the right, back of the mat for a breath. Lizard pose to the front, come up, hands inside the left foot as you pivot around, lower the back knee, chest up one breath. Ardha Hanuman half split, start straining the left leg, one more breath. Bend up at the left knee, downward facing dog, press back. You can hold in your down dog, breathe or Flow through your plank, chaturanga, upward facing, bringing it back to your downward facing dog and holding for another deep breath. Taking an inhale, lift up the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, big step through the hands. Step all the way up to the front and fold over the legs, head down. Inhale, sweep the arms around, rise up. Bring palms to prayer at the heart, standing tall. Samastitihi will transition into dancer pose, Natarajasana. Shift your weight to the right leg, lift the left knee, take your right hand onto your waist and take your left palm, reach back, kick your foot into your hand. This is an inside grip. Grab inside the left foot so your left thumb points back behind you. Glue the knees together, level the hips, stand tall. Look straight ahead past the nose. It's gonna be easier to balance that way. Float the right arm high, kick back, kick up. As you keep kicking up and back, pull forward. Kick up. If you fall out, come back in. Keep the breath moving. Kick up and back, pull forward one more time. Then slowly release back up. Lower the left leg, relax the right arm. Tadasana. Stillness. Bring the palms to prayer again, Samastitihi, setting up the second side. Dancer pose, shift your weight to the left leg, lift the right knee, take your left hand onto the waist, and now your right palm, reach back, grab the inside of your right foot. Your right thumb points to the room behind you. Zip up the knees, hips level, chest up, look straight ahead at one point. Raise the left arm all the way up. Kick up and back. When you have the back bend, you have the pose. If you can, work it deeper, keep kicking. Reach the left arm forward. Come back into it if you fall out. Breathe, focus, kick up, kick back, reach forward one more time. Then slowly release up, lower the right leg down, lower the left arm, Tadasana, stillness. Separate your feet, hip width distance. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Exhale, dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Chest up, inhale. Then exhale, fold over the legs. We're gonna add Padangustasana hand to toe pose. Grab the insides of your big toes. First two fingers of each hand, yogi toe lock. Lift the chest, inhale. Exhale again, head down, elbows out. 
option to modify here in your forward fold, taking hands to elbows, completely up to you. Let's give it another full breath. Taking an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, releasing out your toes. Step back into plank. And from your plank pose, come onto hands and knees. Let's take a nice child's pose. Separate the knees, toes together. You can reach the arms straight forward. Maybe turn the palms face up or you can sweep the arms straight back behind you, whatever feels better here. Nice, easy breaths. Let's give it another full breath. And coming back out as you return to hands and knees, let's take it to downward facing dog, hips up and back. We'll lift the right leg high, put a bend in the knee, open the hip, head down. One breath right here. We'll level the hips, bring the knee forward like you're gonna do knee to nose, but instead take fallen triangle, kick the right foot through the left side, roll to the edges of your feet, float the left arm up, reach high, one more big inhale. On the exhale, pigeon pose, lower the left hand, bring the right knee through, left leg back, sit tall, Modify on the back if you need, doing the reverse figure four if that's best for the joints today. Otherwise, come forward, arms out, head down. Hips level, neither sliding left nor right. And we'll hold it here for another breath or two. Coming out, you'll slide the hands in, lift the head up, roll to the outer right leg, bring your left leg around for some Janu Shirshasana, your right foot to the inner left thigh, square off your hips toward the left leg, now walk your hands out, reaching for the left foot, and holding here for another deep breath or so. Slide the hands in as you return upright. Point the right knee up. Bring your left leg straight forward on the mat, setting up Ardhamatsi Andrasana, seated spinal twist. Step the right foot outside the left leg. Wrap your left arm twist to the right side. Sit tall, look right, maybe look past your right shoulder. Hold for another deep breath. As you come back through center, take a brief counter stretch, go left. Center it out, release the right leg over, come forward to hands and knees, meeting again in downward facing dog. You can shake it off, stretch it out. Option if you want to plank chaturanga your way through. We'll switch the sides, lifting up the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip, head down. Then level the hips, bring your left knee through. 
kick the left foot through the right side, fall in triangle, roll to the edges of the feet and float the right arm up, reach high, one more deep breath in. On the exhale, pigeon, right hand down, bring your left knee through, right leg back, sit tall, modify again on the back if you need, if that makes sense, and if you're otherwise good to go, just come through, arms out, head down, maybe a prop under the forehead, maybe a prop under the left hip or thigh, making sure that you're Again, staying centered, not sliding off to either side. We'll hold for another deep breath or two. And coming out, just slide hands in, head up. Roll to the outer left hip, Janu Shirshasana. Bring your right leg around, the left foot to the inner right thigh. Square yourself off a bit toward the right leg. Hands on the right leg and walk your hands out as you reach for your foot. Let's hold for another deep breath or so. Coming out, just slide the hands in, return upright. Point the left knee up. Bring your right leg straight forward. Ardha Matsyandrasana, step the left foot over outside. Your right leg, sit tall, twist to the left side. Lengthen the spine, look left, maybe peek over your shoulder and hold for another deep breath. We'll come back to center, little counter stretch, go right. Come back to the middle, bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana, hands to your feet, sit tall, chest up, option to stay here or come forward if there's reasonable room to do so without crouching down, lengthen, come forward, shoulders back, one more full breath. And coming back up, hands to knees, fold the knees in, hands behind you, Drop your knees to the right, sit tall, look left. Come back through center, drop your knees left, sit tall, look right. Come back through center, we'll do both sides again. Go right, look left. Go left, look right. Coming back to the middle, Let's roll down onto the back. Hug your knees in. Rock a little if that feels good. Maybe take a happy baby pose if that feels good for you. Yeah, and you can either stay here for an extra breath or two with your feet on the mat the knees dropping in together, keep the feet separated just a little, keep the feet on the mat, hands on the belly. If you otherwise want to take a brief shoulder stand, if that's in your practice to do so, just carefully coming up, use a little momentum, coming up, only looking up at your feet when you do this, do not turn your head. Right, look up. Hold for another deep breath or two, wherever you are. And slowly come out. And whether you're on your back with the knees bending or shoulder stand, if you wanna take fish pose, 
If you're in shoulder stand, definitely do fish pose or cobra on the belly. I'm gonna do fish with a block in between the shoulder blades. So I'm putting the block on the flat side, starting at the middle of my, of my back. So you can do it with a block or without, right? Chest up, head back is without the block. I just like having the support because I don't have to think about it. And after doing a practice where I've kicked up a lot of heat, this offers me the opportunity to cool down a little bit easier. So if you're someone like me that holds on to heat, maybe a supported option would be right for you today. That's up to you. Hold for another full breath. And as you release, either settle onto your back right away, or if you're using a prop like I am, bend your knees, roll to your side, roll off the, off the prop, remove it, come back, hug your knees in, take a deep breath in, and with your exhale, let go, coming into Shavasana, extending out the legs, turn the palms up, Close your eyes. Just letting go of the breath as you settle back into space, enjoying a few moments of some relaxation, recovery, giving your body a chance to kind of catch up and restore before returning to the rest of your day. Feel free to stay longer in your relaxation if you have time to do so. I will otherwise leave you here today. Thank you again for sharing your practice with me. Until we meet again on the mat, namaste.